Hi fitness friends, today we have a cardio, tricep, chest, and shoulder workout to do. For this workout, I'll only be using my dumbbells and my kettlebell. I'll be using a 25 pound weight plate, which you can definitely use a single dumbbell for. I'll be using my ball and my BOSU, and I have my plyo box set on an incline. So, sounds like a lot of equipment, but truly the only thing you need for this workout is some dumbbells. So push pause, get yourself warmed up, grab your equipment, and I will see you in just a minute. All right guys, I hope you are all warmed up and ready to go. We're starting off this workout with a five by five. So there's five moves we're gonna do for five reps, and we're gonna go through it five times through, okay? Starting off with a single arm snatch to a shoulder press. So I'm going with a 30 pound dumbbell. This is lighter than what I normally do a single arm snatch with, and that's because we're snatching it up, bringing it to our shoulder, and then doing another press and before we bring it down, okay? So here we go, five per side. Snatch it up, bring it to your shoulder, press it back up and down, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Other side. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. All right. Now moving on to a single, single double chest press. So I'm speaking with 30s. My back is on my mat. Both arms start in the up position. So one arm goes down, then the other, then both for one rep to five. Single, single, now both. Double, that's one. Two, three, four, five. Bring them down. Next move is a kettlebell power clean to reset swing, okay? So power clean just means you're bringing that weight up to your chest switching your grip on the horns, setting it back down, and then doing a single swing. So to get to my single swing position, I'm gonna do like a mini plank hop, like a half plank hop, to get in that position. So I'm gonna start with the power clean. Bring it down, hop back, one swing. That's one. Bring 
one arm. Elbow in and up for one, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. And down. Nice work. Okay. That is one time through our five by five. So let's get back to the top. Single arm snatch. Two single arm shoulder press. Done with that long sleeve shirt already. Back to a 30 pound dumbbell. Here we go. Snatch that weight up. Shoulder press. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Switch sides. One.
five. Other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Single, single, double. Chest presses. Down, step up to that top bell. Come 
our cleans and resets for five. Let's go. One.
kickbacks. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, guys, first five by five is complete. We're gonna move on to our first and only superset in this workout, okay? We're doing this superset three times. We have four per side, a Turkish get up. So I'm gonna go with one 20 pound weight for that. And I'll walk you through the first step slowly. If you do not like Turkish get ups, you're gonna pick a different move that you're gonna do for eight reps, okay? Or maybe even two moves that you do for eight reps, because Turkish get ups take a little bit of time. And we are doing four per side. Paired with that, we are doing eight tricep push up plank hops, okay? That is it. All right, so get down on your mat on your back. I'm going with my 20 pound weight, like I said. Putting it in my left arm, straight up above the shoulder. Other arm is out, other leg is out, left leg is bent. You're pressing up to your elbow, then to your palm. Swinging that front leg through to your knee, hip hinge, and then pressing the stand. That's one rep. Get back down the exact same way that you got into it your elbow, all the way to your back. Repeat, elbow, palm, sweep your leg through, hip hinge, press the stand. The whole time your shoulder stays packed in tight. Let's go for three. Last one. One more. 
four. Switch sides. Four more. One. I should feel really strong right now after all those get ups. Here we go. One. Incline flies, and then a double BOSU burpee. So, 
If you don't have a BOSU, hold a really light pair of dumbbells if you want. Double means double push-ups, double plank hops, double jumps at the top, okay? For the incline press, I'm going to go with 25 pounds. For the incline fly, I will go with either 12s or 15s. These are 30 second intervals, and we're going through it four times, okay? So, I have my pile box set on an incline. Um, if you don't have an incline, you can do these right on the mat. You can do it against a couch or a chair. Something to keep your back on about a 45 degree angle would be great, as long as it's sturdy and it feels good to you. Always remember, if you don't have the equipment, you make it your own, okay? So, we have 16 rounds. It makes this just over a 10 minute set. And I'm gonna hit start right away. Starting with the incline dumbbell press. So you have a 10 second countdown. And that turns up. So my back's going on my thing, weights are up. Just on the incline for the press. A little bit different range of motion. A little bit different muscles in your chest. Focus on here. Make sure you're breathing. Nice job, break it down. Okay, ball squeeze. Shoulder tap and push up. So feet are on either side of the ball, holding it tightly. Sturdy. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, push up. Tap, tap, push up. Ball squeeze, shoulder taps, and push ups. Feet on either side of the ball. Get that shoulder tap first, then get a full push up. Last 
one. Nice job. Incline flies. Grab your lighter dumbbells. Weights are up. You guys with me? Breathe through this.
time flies. Last two moves here.
incline, close grip crashes, going with 30s. And we'll leave this up here. So close grip means that the weights are together, right over your chest, incline, and do an incline. So weights together, close grip, press for five. One, two, three, four, five. And down. Back to the top. Oh no, I'm sorry. I almost forgot our little pyramid. Going with my 25 pound plate. Okay, five Russian twists. Then we're gonna stay down to do four pullover get up and presses. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. On your back, pull over, get up, press. That's one. Two. Try to raise it so that you can look through the center of it. 
Get that full raise. Whew. All right, grab a quick drink. We're on to round three. Starting with the diamond push-ups. So, shake those hands like a diamond. Let's get it, five reps. One, two, three, four, five. Five heavy presses. One, two, three, four, five. Five struggle down. Tricep herpes. Start at the top. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. I did four. Got distracted. Five. Sorry. Handstand shoulder taps. Five reps. One, two, three, four, five. Incline press. I need another towel. Hopefully you guys do too. <laughs> Close grip. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And We're back to our plate. <laughs> Five Russian twists. One, two, three, four, five. Pull we'll over, get up through four. One. Shoulder 
One, two, three, four, five. Incline chest presses. Close grip. One, two, three, four, five. This is getting hard as they should be by now. Grab that feet. Russian twist. Five reps. One, two, three, four, five. We'll ever get up four reps. One,
front raises with the twist. One, two. Awesome, awesome job, guys. I am much sweatier for that workout than what I expected to be with such lack of real true cardio moves. So please let me know what you liked. This is my style strength workout. That's kind of chest and tricep workout I like to do. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you all at the next workout.